happen. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining our national call. Um, we're going to be talking about the 2022 Black Maternal Health Week campaign that takes place annually, April 11th through 17th. My name is Angela Doinsala Aina. I'm the co founder and executive director of the Black Mamas Matter Alliance. The aim of today's national call is to share some key information about the purpose of the campaign and where to find more information on how you can join and be supportive of um, this year's Black Maternal Health Week campaign. Next slide. Additionally, we'll discuss this year's theme, share some of the activities we have planned so far, and provide some guidance on how you can engage us throughout the week both with the Black Mamas Matter Alliance directly, but then also most importantly in your own communities. But first, before we get started, just a little housekeeping. Everyone is currently muted and will stay muted throughout this call. We will have time at the end to answer a few questions. So feel free to submit questions um, as they arise throughout the box, the chat box, and we'll do our best to address them throughout the presentation. Um, thank you again for taking the time today to learn about what we're planning for Black Maternal Health Week 2022. We really do appreciate your interest, your support, and commitment to improving maternal health for Black mamas, Black birthing people in their communities, and um, just folks all around the world um, on this issue of addressing maternal health inequities. As the founding organization behind Black Maternal Health Week, the Black Mamas Matter Alliance is so excited to see all the ways in which this campaign has grown over the last five years. And we look forward to seeing it continue to grow with more involvement and support worldwide. Next slide. For those of you who may just be getting to know the Black Mamas Matter Alliance, we are a national network of Black women-led and Black-led birth and reproductive justice organizations and multidisciplinary professionals that are working across the full spectrum of maternal and reproductive health. We operate at the national, state and local levels. We are also striving to also reach global levels as well as a network. Um, we advocate, drive research, build power and shift culture, all in an effort to advance black maternal health rights and justice. We can go to the next slide. At BMMA, we know that it takes a holistic and comprehensive approach to achieve maternal health equity. And so for this reason, the alliance consists of multidisciplinary professionals, including midwives, OBGYNs, nurses, doulas, researchers, public health professionals, perinatal support workers, attorneys, lactation consultants, advocates, and artists. And so we recognize that maternal mortality and, and morbidity is a global concern. And we frame maternal health equity within the Black feminist context. And so for us here at BMMA, we approach our work through the goals of working to change policy by utilizing the human rights framework to address health inequities, to improve Black maternal health outcomes, we cultivate research that leverages community knowledge and centers Black scholarship. Um, we work to advance care by promoting holistic, respectful, and comprehensive maternal and reproductive health approaches to Black mama's care. And um, we work around shifting culture. And for us, that means dismantling the negative narratives on Black motherhood and amplifying the voices and experiences of Black mamas. And so as efforts to address maternal health inequities in the United States continue, we must be more intentional about centering the ingenuity of Black-led maternal equity initiatives across the country and globally that are truly making a difference. This is the primary function of the Black Maternal Health Week. Next slide. Also, just to take a moment to define what we mean by Black mamas, we utilize this term to represent the full diversity of our lived experiences that include 
um, cis, cisgendered identified Black women, trans folks, and gender expansive individuals that are all people of African descent. We also recognize that we have um, black birthing people or people or black people who have the capacity for pregnancy um, and stand in solidarity with them, including those who have given birth or not. Next slide. So more about Black Maternal Health Week. We can go to the next slide. Founded in 2018 by the Black Mamas Matter Alliance, Black Maternal Health Week intentionally takes place in April, which is recognized in the US as National Minority Health Month. Additionally, we begin Black Maternal Health Week on April 11th annually to join dozens of global organizations in marking this day as International Day for Maternal Health and Rights as an opportunity to advocate for the elimination of maternal mortality globally. For BMMA, we recognize maternal mortality as a global crisis that affects Black women, not only here in the U.S., but across the world. And so back on April 13th, 2021, just last year, um, we uh, Black Maternal Health Week was nationally recognized by the White House, and we are still um, very much um, uh, in gratitude to this administration for at least taking a stance on addressing this issue from a national perspective. The purpose of the campaign is to deepen the national conversation of Black maternal health so that public stakeholders understand how root causes like systemic racism acts as drivers of maternal health inequities. The campaign will, and we want to drive this point, center the voices, scholarship, work and experiences of Black mamas, Black birthing people in their communities, and the people that are living, um, that are, excuse me, leading the charge of addressing a lot of these issues in their community. Our primary goal of the campaign is to amplify the policy, research, and care solutions that are being harnessed in communities of color. The campaign also informs um, policymakers and community leaders on policy solutions and showcases to the general public the power of organizing and the importance and necessity of maintaining space for Black leadership in this work. And we are excited that this is our fifth anniversary of the National Black Maternal Health Week campaign. Next slide. I want to take this time to thank all of our sponsors and alliance partners for a spectacular and highly impactful um, campaign last year, despite the continued um, onslaught of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, but we want to highlight that because of the uh, massive public support, we were able to pivot a lot of in-person events to very enlightening and thought-provoking um, webinars and other um, virtual um, events throughout Black Maternal Health Week last year that reached thousands across the nation. And um, we do have a more detailed impact report of our 2021 campaign that can be found on our website and um, you know, continue to sign up for our e-newsletter so that you can um, also receive timely um, notifications of a lot of our um, campaign reports and more information. I also want to take this time to acknowledge and send love to the racial justice advocates within the larger movement for Black lives and the reproductive justice movement for their unwavering fight for all Black lives. As we know, um, Social challenges like police brutality, um, the disproportionate impact of this pandemic, and the ongoing inequities in health outcomes, especially for people of color and Black folks, um, propel us to continue to fight for reproductive justice and health inequity. The freedom and ability to parent um, children, mother our families without the threat of violence against us are fundamental human rights. And these rights that we are committed to, to see come to full fruition, along with the resources that communities and families need to survive and thrive. This is why um, even um, 
a, a positive effort like becoming a sponsor of our Black Maternal Health Week campaign um, can be very helpful. And we will talk about more information like that later on. We can go to the next slide. And so in discussing the theme of this year, we know that um, uh, um, statistically, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, um, unfortunately, approximately 700 women die each year in the United States as a result of pregnancy or delivery complications. Even more alarming are the racial and ethnic disparities that exist in pregnancy-related deaths. In 2019, Black women were most disproportionately affected with a maternal uh, mortality rate of 44 deaths per 100,000 live births compared to 17.9 deaths per 100,000 live births and 12.6 deaths per 100 live births for white and Hispanic um, women respectfully. However, we know that statistics alone do not paint the full picture of the historical and lived experiences of those most impacted by maternal morbidity and mortality. This public health issue is preventable. And so therefore, the Black Maternal Health Week um, theme this year is building for liberation, centering Black mamas, Black families, and Black systems of care. This reflects Black Mamas Matters Alliance work in centering Black women's scholarship, maternity care work, and advocacy across the full spectrum of sexual, maternal, and reproductive health care, services, programs, and initiatives. Additionally, the 2022 theme reflects the critical need for learning about Black feminist and womanist approaches in strengthening wellness structures within our communities and across the diaspora as a revolutionary act in the pursuit of liberation and in the global fight to end maternal mortality. Additionally, we wanted to take a moment to define um, what we uh, continue to mean by that. And that is um, that we want to center this theme around centering um, the Black leadership, Black mamas and Black families in this care. We can go on to the next slide. And so as you all can see, we have thought through a comprehensive um, list of activities for the week. While we do want to um, center and uplift the fact that a lot of the um, work that's happening at the local levels and at the state levels um, by Black-led initiatives is really the focal point of Black Maternal Health Week overall. And so we are striving to make sure that that at least for um, a lot of the partners in the Alliance, that we uplift and showcase the work that they're doing um, during Black Maternal Health Week on the webpage. This will be updated um, throughout um, now up until leading up until Black Maternal Health Week. So continue to check um, our Black Maternal Health Week uh, page. But for um, the our organization, BMMA, we have cultivated just a handful of activities across each day. So as we can see that on April 11th, um, we're focused on the theme of building for liberation. We're gonna kick off this fifth anniversary of Black Maternal Health Week to celebrate its fifth year. And this is mostly gonna focus on a lot of social media activation. So definitely, continue to check out our um, different platforms of Facebook, Instagram, um, and Twitter and YouTube, as we will be highlighting and promoting a lot of the work that we have done in the past and engaging a lot of our partners across the full um, movement of Black maternal health. On April 12th, 
Um, we are looking to have a Black Maternal Health Virtual Symposium. Again, more information will be posted on our website and in the Black Maternal Health Toolkit on how to register for that virtual webinar. And we will focus a lot of that time on showcasing um, the um, research and policy reports that we have recently um, published and take a deeper dive into those. On April 13th, we will have a specific tree chat that's focused on policy and a lot of the policy wins as it relates to Black maternal health and maternal health um, equity work overall. Um, we are looking to also engage a lot of legislative champions around this work um, on Twitter. More information will come out um, as we get closer to those dates. We can go to the next slide. April 14th, we are focused on um, doing a fundraising day to uplift the work of BMMA and to um, have a day to also give out some um, giveaways to our supporters and sponsors. Um, again, we continue to thank um, those that have um, supported our organization throughout the year to really upstand and implement this campaign every year. It really does takes a lot of effort of staff and partners and, um, and a lot of uh, vendors in order to put on this campaign. And so we wanted to take the time out on this day to uplift that and to thank all of those that continue to support this work. And this is another way to continuously support the work of BMMA. And then on um, April 5th, we are continuing um, a virtual um, event that we've kicked off last year, which is the Black Maternal Health Times Culture Fest. Um, this year, we're um, still implementing that on April 15th. And it's gonna fo focus on um, one of our partners um, who's doing some great work in the podcast space, and this is with um, the NATO podcast, which will be featuring some of their um, episodes of their season two. April 16th um, is going to be continued social media activation, um, highlighting some key milestones and resources um, in and around Black maternal health and, and reproductive health overall. And then April 17th, we are gonna really hone in and focus and highlight all of the great work of um, all of our partners that make up the Alliance. So we have a lot of um, great activities throughout the week. As you can see, a lot of it is heavily focused on engagement on our social media platforms and, um, and also virtually. So again, if you haven't already, please sign up for our e-newsletter so that you can receive timely information on each event. And again, all of this will be further, um, further described in our Black Maternal Health Week Toolkit. We can go to the next slide. So here are some additional ways that you can get involved. We have a comprehensive sponsorship package um, that we release every year for Black Maternal Health Week. Um, we typically always get questions about how people can further support and pour into the work. Um, as you can see here, we have different levels that come with different benefits, whether you come in at the upholder, champion, movement, or change maker levels. Um, there are plenty of um, ways in which that you can support the campaign that further supports a lot of the work that our partners are doing at the local level. Here at Black Mamas Matter Alliance, as we described earlier, we serve as a national um, entity and space for Black leadership that's doing maternity care work. And so um, through sponsoring Black Maternal Health Week, this is how you help us continue to do that work and be able to also um, provide resources and additional support to um, Black uh, community-based um, led 
organizations that are doing the work at the forefront by serving Black mamas and families um, with direct services and programs. Again, more of this information is um, also on our website at blackmamasmatter.org forward slash BMHW. We can go to the next slide. If you want to learn more about some of the local events of our partners in the different states, um, as I mentioned before, we have partners in Florida, um, several partners here in Georgia, New York, California, Texas, Ohio, um, and in Maryland, and a few other states. Um, we will be posting their uh, Black Maternal Health Week flyers and more information about the work that they're doing um, and prog programs that they will be conducting during Black Maternal Health Week on our um, website, um, at least um, leading up to Black Maternal Health Week. And as I mentioned before, that um, the local events page on our website will be constantly updated um, every other week leading up to uh, Black Maternal Health Week. So continue to check that page out. As we make updates, you may find some local partners um, or local community-based organizations that you can get more intimately involved with and further support a lot of their work and efforts, um, especially during Black Maternal Health Week. Um, the other thing I wanna mention is that on this um, webpage of local events, as it relates to Black Maternal Health Week, we are not going to necessarily have a comprehensive list of every Black Maternal Health Week event that is uh, occurring across the nation. Um, this is more so to just highlight um, partners within our alliance. But we do encourage you to, you know, check out the hashtag. BMHW22, you will likely find um, other Black-led um, maternal and reproductive justice initiatives in your local area that are um, also doing some kind of program or event um, during Black Maternal Health Week. Check them out, get engaged, reach out. The um, Again, the whole point of our campaign is to really showcase that there are people within our communities, again, that are most impacted by this issue of um, maternal mortality and even infant mortality who are really doing great work at the local and state levels. And so this is just a campaign to really shine the light on that and, you know, um, definitely reach out and support those efforts as well. Please continue to follow us on all of our social media uh, platforms and get connected to our e-newsletter. Um, as you can see on the slide, we have the link there. Please also note that um, BMMA's logos are pro proprietary. They're not meant to be um, copied and pasted on any um, non-Black uh, Mamas Matter Alliance activity. We can go to the next slide. We will be releasing the comprehensive Black Maternal Health Week social media toolkit um, by February 25th, 2022. The toolkit will contain key messages um, some public health statistics on this, on uh, a lot of the issues that are impacting maternal health. Um, it will also include um, general and shareable graphics that, um, you know, other organizations can utilize and customize, including other social media assets. And also, um, it will also include BMMAs, um, official Black Maternal Health Week 2022 itinerary and descriptions of each activity that we will do each day. Um, again, the toolkit will be available on our website at blackmamasmatter.org forward slash BMHW um, by February 25th. We can go to the next slide. 
This is just another um, note to call out that our logo, whether it's the official BMMA logo or our Black Maternal Health Week logo, these are proprietary um, properties of the organization and um, permission is needed uh, prior to its utilization. We can go to the next slide. For all other inquiries or any additional questions, you can reach us at bmhw at blackmomsmatter.org. Also for media and press inquiries, those can be sent to comms, that's C-O-M-M-S, at blackmomsmatter.org. And now I will turn it over to Rose to help with um, answering any questions that, that may have arisen um, in the chat box. Thank you, Angela, um, for the very great overview of this year's campaign. Um, are there any questions in particular to any information that was presented or anything in general? And in the chat box, I see a lot of introductions, um, folks from all over the country. It's great to have you here today. Um, I see a question. Um, Kermani asks, are you all okay with repost of your posts on social media? Absolutely. Um, our toolkit serves as an opportunity for, for folks to also have sample posts, sample memes that they can post on their social media platforms um, in support of Black Maternal Health Week. And of course, using the hashtag, hashtag BMHW2022 helps other folks um, find the information that's reposted. So we are perfectly okay with reposts and our toolkit serves as a way for you all to um, engage in content that's been prepared for you. Um, and any other questions I can see? Let's see what's I'm in the chat box. That um, are we allowed to use the hashtag? Absolutely. Um, our toolkit will um, give you a list of hashtags that we use for Black Maternal Health Week. The main hashtag is hashtag BMHW2022. Okay. Let's see Probably take about two more questions. And then, um, as Angela mentioned, on this slide here, if you have any specific questions, you can also feel free to email us at bmhw at blackmamasmatter.org and then um, media and press comms at blackmamasmatter.org. So I'll be taking one more question. Um, how do we inform um, our Black internal Week to share with our followers? Yeah, absolutely. You can go, um, share your event with your followers. Um, like I mentioned, our hashtag is a great way for folks to find um, Black Maternal Health Week events on social media. And so using that hashtag um, helps people who are engaged in the campaign to um, learn more about your event. Um, as Angela mentioned before, our local events on our website is um, not an exhaustive list of all the events occurring around the country. They're just um, a list of events that are hosted by our partners in their specific states and cities. And so we encourage you to, of course, still host your own events um, and use our hashtags um, to engage with us and for folks who are interested in the campaign to learn more about what you are doing in your local areas. Okay. One 